so next is domain of uh, protection so domain of protection uh, means uh, normally in our computer system we have processes means programs and we have objects so objects can be our uh, cpu it can be our memory or any other uh, hardware devices so we call all them as objects so every computer system will be having all these things processes and objects okay and uh, we can observe that uh, each object will be having its own uh, unique uh, name it will be having certain uh, unique uh, id or identification number and uh, certain operations we can perform on these uh, objects this if i take an example of cpu as an object so we can use this object for uh, performing computation or uh, we call it as execution similarly if we take memory as an uh, object so memory is uh, used for performing reading of data or we can use memory for writing some data so these are all called operations which you perform on objects so the next thing is what will be a structure of a domain so every process which is there in your computer system will be having certain protection domain now what does that indicates ant antandre so what are all the resources that process is allowed to access okay and what are all the permissions these processes will be having now that is called as domain structure okay so this is what the diagram what you can observe so here the for the example say we have taken three domains d1 d2 d3 and this is how the domain structure will be present okay so in domain 1 there are three objects which are written here object 1 object 2 object 3 and uh, in front of that we have written certain privileges or permissions it means object 3 can be used for reading can be used for writing similarly object 2 is used for executing so like that every domain will be having certain informations about objects and their Uh, related operations we can perform okay so if any process wants uh, to access certain uh, domain then all those objects which are present in that domain can be used by the process so that's what the domain structure indicates so the next important concept is about access matrix so this is very important and they will be asking this uh, in your examination how the matrix will be formed now the access matrix will gives you uh, the information about your uh, set of objects and set of domains okay so objects uh, as i told it can be your uh, files or programs it can be cpu memory uh, tape drive disk drive all those things and domains domains contains permissions of the objects so both we have we can able to see in this particular diagram so domain d1 so which are all the uh, objects we are using in domain d1 they have written here f1 indicates file 1 f2 indicates file 2 f3 file 3 printer but in domain d1 row you can observe there are only file 1 and it is only file 3 no other uh, objects we are using in domain d1 when we check in domain d2 we are using only one object that is printer similarly in row 3 that is domain 3 we can see that we are using file 2 and we are also using file 3 so like that so which are all the domains which are coming and which are all the objects we can able to access in that domain those will be listed in the form of a matrix so such matrix is called as access matrix okay so the operations which we normally perform in uh, these uh, 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 these objects uh, can can be written like this okay so we can perform execution operation we can perform read operation we can perform write operation etc okay 
and we also need to specify in access matrix who can perform that operation whether it is owner or whether it is only uh, the others other people or whether it can be executed by all the persons okay so you can observe here so this is a diagram which is showing you the information that in domain d1 if any process is accessing domain d1 that process can use file 1 that process can use file 3 so file 1 can be executed by the owner okay so whereas file 3 can be used for writing purpose that's what it indicates whereas star here indicates that everybody can able to execute that particular file and for reading purpose that's what it indicates so that's uh, that's all about the diagram which you can able to observe here same thing uh, we have taken for other uh, uh, objects like uh, whether we want to control any operations on the files so then we or when we want to switch the privileges from one object to another object in such cases there are certain uh, 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 options which we can use in our access matrix like uh, switch is one uh, option another one is control is another option so such things we can able to use so it indicates so it is an uh, access right so which is used only in the domains control okay if access of i comma j includes control right okay so this is a control right then what it indicates is process which is executing in that domain can able to remove the access rights of that particular row and tartha. so that's what these indicates switch as well as control indicates